When the first generation sport was launched back in 2005, it had real impact. And with the second generation, we believe we've taken it to another level. I don't need to say any more because this car really does speak for itself. The all new Range Rover Sport. The Range Rover Sport is uh, really a very, very special vehicle with also a very special heritage. Our current car, which we first introduced into the market in 2005, is still selling very, very well. And this car is such a big leap forward in terms of its technological base. The launch of the new Range Rover Sport is uh, really exciting for us because it actually stretches the envelope of our product portfolio. It's the fastest, it's the most agile, it's the most responsive, the most dynamic Land Rover ever, but it's still incredibly capable and it has that Land Rover DNA at its heart. From a design standpoint, there isn't anything quite like them out there. Floating roof, the clamshell bonnets, short front rear overhangs, those DNA elements are maintained but it, they're packaged in a way that it's really dramatic. The brand's in a great place right now. Our sales are actually up 36% last fiscal year, 15% this first quarter. The momentum continues. We sold over 300,000 cars last year for the first time ever. China is the number one car market in the world, practically for every car manufacturer, and for Jaguar Land Rover, definitely. In September 2012, it grew to be the number one market for us and we're here to make sure it stays that way. It's our 65th anniversary, uh, 65 years of innovation in the SUV market. And I feel you know, really proud to be part of this business at such an exciting time. We've had a great 65 years, but I guess the last five years have probably been the strongest for this business. And we're gonna build on that momentum. And I think the next 65 years are gonna be very, very exciting. <laughs>